Okay, hi everyone. Uh, if you are watching this tutorial, it's likely that you're part of uh, Trinity Church in Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. But if you're watching this and you're not a part of Trinity Church, hopefully this will be a helpful tutorial for you. Um, so Trinity guys, you have probably signed in at this point and hopefully you've clicked file and open and you found Sunday meeting. So once, once you've done that, uh, you should be able to see what I can see or, or whatever the equivalent is for that current week. And what, what you need to do, first thing, is change the presentation date to the date that you are getting ready for. So in this case, we're getting ready for July 19th, 2020. So I'm going to click on that. And you've got a few different sections here. So as we have a look, we've got our pre-service loop, which has a song that shouldn't be in there. In there, So we'll delete that. You got a pre-service loop. So this is what's going to loop uh, during the service. Uh, you can change the length of each of these slides, by the way, just by clicking down here and changing it from eight to whatever you want it to be, right? But you probably won't change that too much. Um, most likely, I will put these slides in for you. So that's not something you have to worry about too much. Uh, but if you need to, just so you know, that's where you can go. So look, oh, this Trinity logo is five seconds instead of eight. To change that, I'll click onto that one. Uh, we'll click the auto advance. I mean, they always auto advance anyway, but then we'll change it to, let's say we'll change it to eight seconds. So it's the same as the rest. So I'll press eight and press enter, and then it should auto advance. So we've got the pre-service loop and post-service loop. Um, what you might notice here is actually there's a welcome slide here. We don't need a welcome slide at the post-service loop, so I'm going to delete that. And so those are our pre and our post service loops. In, in time, we may have countdowns and things like that. And those things will go into the warm up section. But we don't need to worry about that too much. Instead, let's talk about the rest of this stuff because it can look a bit confusing when you first look at it. Um, but what we've got is our main service. So this is where really most of what you'll be changing will be. And there's two screens. So there's an edit screen, which is what we're on now. You can see here, there's an edit. And then there's a preview screen. So this is what we'll do when we actually get to the service. This is a much more friendly way to look at it. You might see it like this on yours. I prefer to click this button where you can see everything, but it's it's up to you. You have to do whatever you think is most helpful for you. I'm going to go with this one because I find this helpful. And you can zoom in and out up here um, if you want to see lots at once. And so in here, we have a few different types of media. We have uh, generic kind of slides that will appear. And now... The important difference with, with these ones as opposed to these ones is that these are not timed. So if you want to bring up a logo and keep the logo up, you just click on you you need to click on it in this section. Um, so we've got some logos here just to help us out at the beginning and the end. And I've deleted everything here. So normally our sermon slides would come into here and our songs for, for Sunday worship would come in here. So let's say we wanted to add a song. Here's how we do it. You click add item. And there's, and there's only really two things that we'll regularly click on. That's song and on-screen Bible. They're the things that we use the most. So if we want to add a song, we click on song. And uh, you'll see there's kind of, the, we're automatically brought to the edit pane. And if we type in the song, so I know that this Sunday I'm starting uh, worship with This Is Amazing Grace. So I'll start typing this. Oh, whoops. This is amazing. And we should see that it will come up on CCLI. Here we go. This is amazing grace. So I'm going to click on that. And now what you can see, it doesn't look like how we would have it on a Sunday. So, and there's a few other things that I don't really like, like the yes and o's. We don't need those in the list in the song for words, for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click background and then browse media because we've already imported the background that we've been using recently. And uh, I'll bring this screen over. We've got our group upload. I'm going to click on that. Now, if you scroll through here, here we go. Here's our background. So we're going to use this one and click apply as background. Hopefully you saw that okay. Um, I'm screen recording. I'm not sure if it's going to show up exactly as I want it to, but I think it did. So there you go. You can see the background has changed, but it still doesn't look quite right. Uh, firstly, I'm going to move the copyright so it's kind of out of the way of the logo a little bit there. And then this, these words don't look quite right. So I'm going to click styles and Trinity Church. Now, actually, this style is not quite how we want it to be, but hopefully by the time you edit songs, it will be. So I'll click on it. You'll notice it's kind of this off-white color, which is a bit weird. Um, so I'll click on Trinity Church, and then um, I'm going to change the color to white, just so it's nice and clear. And did that work? It should be. Yep. 
Oh yeah, I'm just at an angle from the screen, so it's a bit hard to see. Okay, so now the other thing, if we scroll down, and this doesn't look right, like this is too small, and it seems very, I mean, that's not right. So what we're going to do now is we'll go through in this section, we'll change it. So I like to try and keep four lines to a, to a, a slide, just as, as much as possible, and do it um, in relation to how the song sings. So how the song sings, is that right? I don't know. Who breaks the power? of sin and darkness, whose love is mighty and so much stronger, uh, the king of glory. And then I'm going to put that on another page, the king of glory, the king above all kings. Okay, so then that changes how that looks. Now, what will happen is as we go through the rest of the song, it will resize. So I'm going to rush through this. Who shakes the whole earth uh, with holy thunder, who leaves us breathless in awe and wonder, the king of glory, the king above all kings. And then I would delete yeah or no, because we don't need that. Um, and then this is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That, yep, and we'll just put an enter there. Uh, Jesus, I sing for, and then we'll do another line here just to make that line a bit shorter. Who brings our chaos back into order? Who makes the orphan a son and daughter, the King of Glory, the King of Glory? And then who rules the nation? You're going to have to use your uh, judgment on this with the King of Glory because uh, it is it is subjective. But this is how I'm going to go for it at the moment. We'll do an enter there and see if there's enough space. And do you notice this is all resized quite significantly now? Uh, and as we come down, we'll go and have a look. What does this look like down here? Ah, that doesn't work. So we'll put, uh, we'll definitely, well, maybe we'll just go for this and then just put some enter there. It's not perfect. It's often not perfect, but we have to kind of compromise a little bit to make it work. Can you conquer the worthy slam? Who was slain? Worthy, worthy, worthy. Great. Okay. So we'll go for that. So with that song, there you go. It's now lined up. Is done. Now here's the things that we need to remember as well. There's some important steps. I'll just scroll up here. Notice here it says uh, use no transition. I think this is a really important thing to click because otherwise you get these kind of annoying like fady transitions. In fact, let me just show you. You might not see it actually. But if I click here, did you see how long that took to transition between the two? And it kind of, I think it kind of messes with your eyes. So what we'll do at Trinity Church, you can do whatever you want at your church, but if you're listening outside of Trinity Church, we're going to click Use No Transition. And what that does, if we click back on the previews, boom, it's just much faster. Uh, I think, personally, I think it's less distracting. Um, if you strongly disagree, well, let's have a conversation. I'm open to potentially changing uh, my mind on that. Just let me know what you think. Okay, and then you can enable custom verses and sections and things like that. Now, what we're going to do for every song is we're going to insert the, the word blank, which will put a blank screen at the beginning, just gives us somewhere to go. And then what's nice about this is you can change the order. So we can add, for example, a chorus one here. Uh, and let, let's say we want a chorus at the end as well. Uh, there we go. Now, when we go back to our preview, it should be in order. So we've got verse one. By the way, if you were previewing this i tend to just use the arrow keys and skip through like this or click but you could press one to go to verse one two to go to verse two c to go to chorus and so on and notice that it's all in in the order that we've asked it to be so it's got chorus at the end now so that's how you add a song basically now there are some songs that have already been added so when that's the case like last week i think we did great are you lord so that will come up in my songs that'll be much easier so you click on it now and it's almost like it's almost ready to go so it's got this weird template which we've still got to change but in terms of uh this bit it's all good right so again we'll click styles trinity church and again it's that weird off color so i'm gonna i'll change that after i finish this video and make it so that's not the case and then background again uh, browse media uh, click on this one oh apply as background there we go. Okay. I don't know where the copyright information has gone. Oh, it must be at the top. There we go. And again, move the copyright information. So again, pretty quick. Once you've done that first bit, uh, this, uh, this song is fairly straightforward. So I didn't rearrange, but I did put the blank thing and we want to click on the use no transition. So, okay. That's how you add songs. The next thing you will probably need to think about is sermon slides. So let's say I was uh, preaching. I pre preached at the weekend and I used some slides for that talk that was called Fueled by Faith. So I'm going to copy and paste from here. Um, here are my slides. I'm going to drag and drop them. You probably won't have to do this, but just 
let's make let's do it just in case um so then we'll close that let's call this dave's message and that can be within the sermon but i'll move uh but definitely move these two into the worship bracket just to make it easier to follow where's uh, what's going on and that's it as far as uh slides that's pretty straightforward you just click on it and if you're in preview mode you could just follow it through um but there is a bible passage as well and when we use Bible passages, we don't tend to use them as slides in the same way. What we do, let's, let's say it, it came just after this slide, we're going to click Add Item on Screen Bible. Now, Proclaim has this really cool one that kind of uh, animates a little bit. We really like that. So we've got the CSB and ESV versions. Um, if Dwayne's preaching, uh, one of the elders, he will probably use the New King James, for example. So if that was the case, we could just click on More and type new king james nkjv and that'll come up so let's say i mean he preached on romans 8 i think a few weeks ago so let's say he did romans 8 1 to 11 for the sake of argument we could click on that and then that's all you have to do it will load the rest for us which is fantastic um there we go so it's in now so when you go to preview you know keep an eye on this screen here there you go it's loading it's a bit small there for you i know but as we can click through you can see here you can click the next slide. Now, because of that animation, you need to be a bit preemptive. And so when it gets to about here, you probably want to click on it. So uh, it says, do not walk according to fle the flesh, but according to the spirit. So if it got to do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit, boom, then it's animated. Okay, so to, to delete it, you can just right click and delete or you know, press the delete key, add item on screen Bible. We're gonna add Ephesians 3 now. We can do the ESV version because that's what I used, Ephesians. 3, 14 to 20. It's not actually 14 to 21. I made a mistake on that. So there you go. It's that quick and straightforward to add a Bible passage. That, I think, is pretty much all that you'll need to know. Um, oh, of course, once you've finished and you've clicked preview and you're ready to go, do make sure that you've clicked on air. Uh, this is what will project it to the screen and to the, the TV at the back. So that's really important. Um, for now, that's more or less everything. If you need to jump to the logo really quick or to a blank screen, you can click on these, but we don't really use that. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I think that covers most of the basics that you'll need on most Sundays, but we can talk about more as we go. So that's it from me. Have a great week and hopefully this will be helpful for Sundays. Bye.